All right, here we are in building H, and this is, as you can see, the upper level floor, and here is where we are coming, which is H206, which is going to be your microbiology lab, and as you can see here, we have some guidelines, no food or drinks allowed, biohazard, and so on. So there are going to be two doors to the lab, and let's come in. And this is what you find when you come in. So there are three benches on the right side. Walking in towards the middle, this is the instructor's desk, my desk. Here is the whiteboard. Behind, there are three benches on the left side. And here in the middle, we have some fridges and also what we call a laminar flow for managing um, biologically hazardous cultures. So this is the laminar flow here. And at the end of the lab, we have two very important parts of the lab. One sink and the other sink. Here is where you're going to be rinsing your stuff, washing your hands. And what you see here, this box is what we call the coffin. And why is the coffin so important? This is where the used test tubes go. And you are supposed to remove the tapes from the test tube, otherwise your name will um, be exhibited there. Okay, so this is where you are going to leave your used test tubes. We'll be having a complete explanation of what goes where. But these big bins, as you can see, they have these big orange labels, biohazard label. This is where your Petri dishes and other biological materials are going to go. These bins here are dedicated for pipettes, big pipettes, for the small pipettes. I'm going to show you later where, where you put them. Here you have the hood where those bottles that you see here are going to be the chemicals you'll be using for your stains. And this is the place to refill your little bottles. You're going to have little stain kits for each bench. Okay, so let's look at each bench separately. So as you can see, there are four seats. And once you have a seat that is going to be your seat for the rest of the semester because you will be assigned certain instruments such as microscopes and you're going to find your microscopes here and I don't know if you can see but they are actually numbered and they are coded and you're going to get one microscope uh, for yourself and that means that we are going to um, uh, to trace what happens to this microscope. So if something bad happens to the microscope, we know that it was either you or the student in the morning. Okay, so what you see here, so each of you is going to have one space here. Um, you will share some reagents or some supplies. So you're going to have dionized water and disinfectant. You're going to have a set of tape for labeling your tubes. Um, this little... Um, uh, things are uh, in order to spin your petri dishes. You are going to have a gas for your bones and burner. You are not going to be really using vacuum this time. And you have a drawer. And there is a variety of interesting uh, supplies in your drawer. For instance, you, each of you is going to have an inoculating needle and an inoculating loop. These are the two main supplies you'll be using for inoculating your cultures. Then you're going to have a variety of small objects that are required for your staining. You're going to have microscope paper to clean your microscope um, and some other supplies. And as you can see, when you come to class the first time, you will be given a list 
of supplies that you will have to review and sign. Okay, so as I was saying, this is going to be your bench. This is going to be the place you'll be sitting. Each bench has a number. So on the right side, we have the paired numbers. This is bench 6, bench 4, bench 2, and on the other side, so that would be the left side, looking from the front is going to be bench 1, bench 3, and bench 5. Um, other things that you need to know is um, there is two classes of microbiology, a night class and a day class. So here you have, for instance, our fridge. And as you can see here, there's going to be a space for day class cultures and for night class cultures. There's a variety of little reagents here that you will have to use. Moving to the back now, and the bed to the left, there are two incubators here, and right now they are off, but they are going to be your 35 degree incubators, and the one on the right side, as you see, says night class incubator, so this is your incubator. Sometimes we'll be using a different temperature incubator, and the other that is most commonly used is the 30 degree incubator, which is here. So this would be the right side. We have two. Again, one is going to be for the night and the other for the day cultures. We have also a big fridge full of reagents here, but you cannot take anything from here without my permission. And I think I kind of showed everything. You will have some other supplies in this drawer called the drawer A. These are going to be your staining trays and your racks. And in B, you're going to have more racks. And then on the side, you can find your buns and burners. So the first day is going to be a lot about finding your place and what you're going to, to need and just uh, signing papers and assigning microscopes and other instruments. All right, so here is Sam. He's going to be your king in the lab. And with this, I will welcome you very soon in class. Bye.